welcome back to our channel. We're actually hopping on one of the inter-island ferries. We're going to take you along with us. We're at Toft Ferry Terminal at the moment. We're going to hop on a ferry over to Ulster on Yell and show you the journey all the way up to the North Isles. So we normally just hop in the unbooked lane, which is lane two. It's not many on it today. It's normally a very busy ferry crossing because it's very popular heading up towards Yell and Unst. But there is a book lane as well and you can book online or over the phone so they normally filter on the ferry first and then it's sort of first come first served with the unbooked and whatever space there is they fill with the unbooked people <laughs> the ferry's just come in from yell and it's going to unload all the cars and then we'll be able to get on So you can get out onto the ferry and have a look on the top, which we're going to do, but you've got to wait in your vehicle until the man comes round and takes your payment. So we're going to wait. <laughs> so depending on how many there are of you in the vehicle, you normally pay for the vehicle, including the driver, and then any extra passengers. So it normally costs about 15 to 20 pounds, which isn't too bad. And that takes you all the way up to Unst if you travel within the same day. So you've got to keep a hold of your ticket to make sure that they know on the next ferry that you have already paid and you haven't like driven to Yell and stopped overnight and then continued on because then you'd have to pay two fares. So normally what they say is if you say you want to go to Fetler, which is the island you'd have to get the ferry from Unst. So say we wanted to go to Fetler, we'd go straight to Fetler, then everything back you don't have to pay because that's just a return because you automatically pay a return journey. So the cheapest way to do it is to go to Fetler and then you do all the other islands when you come back. <laughs> Last time we were on this, I nearly didn't break my leg. <laughs> All over the place, a really steep step. <laughs> Very short as well. So last time we were on this ferry, we actually came over with our friends Matt and Simon. And we managed to see the 64s off Yell. 64s, they're a part of Orca, <laughs> if you didn't know. <laughs> Yeah, it was really exciting seeing them over on Yale. Hopefully we have some luck again. Never know. <laughs> it's quite a nice ferry being as though you're only on it for sort of 20, 30 minutes max. Yeah, it is. So, Plenty of spaces to sit. It's nicer than some of the bigger trips we've been on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is actually. We've been on, yeah, some of the Calmac ferries don't even have like this sort of bit that you can sit in. So if you come on as a foot passenger, you've got plenty of places to sit. It's really good and a lovely view. Good, so it means you don't have to wait too long for a ferry so they're sort of every half an hour through yeah. the week there's certain days where they're a bit longer i think maybe it's an hour or something but usually you don't have to wait more than half an hour which is good yeah. especially if you're trying to chase orca yeah it's a very popular route and they run plenty of ferries for it so until they break down until they and then break there's down. only one running or none <laughs> and there's yeah. no bridges or anything so these are literally the only way to head over to yal and fetler and Dunst. Yeah. area for <laughs> I used to love those as a kid, they were amazing. Probably would still enjoy it now to be fair. Okay, 
Bailey. <laughs> How would you rate the toilet? <laughs> It'd be nice to see Orca from the ferry, but I also feel it'd be quite stressful <laughs> because the ferry be moving and they'll be moving. But knowing our luck, we'd be going that way and they'd be going that way. <laughs> yeah. We do often get seen from the ferry, and imagine if you work on here, it'd be amazing because you'd be out looking like all the time. And then we'd always carry a camera around with us. <laughs> we're just arriving in Ulster on Yell, so we're gonna head down to the van and get ready to disembark. Think you need to do that. <laughs> Don't fall down. So we now have to drive about 20, 30 minutes, depending on who's driving, across Yell to get right up to the top um, to Gutcha, I think. <laughs> um, and then we'll catch the next ferry over to us. It's sleepy as well. which lane you get into because you could end up getting shipped over to once which is where we want to go or Fettler which isn't where we want to go so I think we're in the right lane <laughs> we're really hoping we get onto this ferry because it is quite a bit smaller than the one that headed over to Yell and there's quite a few in the booked lane but we're second in the unbooked lane so I just hope that we can squeeze on but it's like a really big caravan so I don't know if we're gonna get on I hope we do it's only about a 10 minute crossing, so it doesn't take as long as the one across the Yell Sound. But um, So much easier if there's just a little bridge right over there. It, it looks yeah. like you can just swim over to it. <laughs> yeah. Such a pointless ferry. Yeah, it's such a small, like, crossing. But, yeah, there's not we'll a bridge, taking so... taking that little boat down there over. <laughs> yeah. Maybe quicker. <laughs> just squeezed on that ferry. I didn't think we were going to get on at first, but we've squeezed on. <laughs> didn't fancy an hour wait, so it's no. a good job we did. This one you have to wait a bit longer than the Yale crossing, so. Yeah, very, very lucky to squeeze on this ferry. Yeah, so we've just had the date checked on our ticket just to make sure that we have traveled from the mainland within the same day of what our ticket says. So if you're going to be doing this, make sure that you travel within the same day from the mainland up to once otherwise you'll probably be probably be charged twice <laughs> Spinning around. <laughs> Spin all the way around <laughs> to us. Just go around in circles. <laughs> Just like we're doing this the whole of the journey. I'm sure I've seen that building like four times on the hill. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's normally pretty cool arriving on Ernst and finding this sign, but obviously there's only half of it there. So we'll put a picture up of what this used to look like. But yeah, it's only really cool was. looking at this. <laughs> it is normally really cool. At least the I orcas are. The other half's around here. Oh. half. <laughs> you think it wouldn't take them long just to pin it back up but <laughs> everything takes long on Shetland. <laughs> it does, everything takes ages on Shetland. I was about to say we're gonna go and have an explore on Unts and then we'll join you back on the ferry but looks like we won't be doing much exploring. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Standard Shetland weather. Yeah. from Unst to Yell, so we're going to go over to Yell and have an explore before we head over to the mainland. and all sorts it was really cool they were just in the middle of the blue ball sound yeah brings up back memories being here <laughs> Thank you. 
So we're now back at Shetland Mainland Toft Ferry Terminal. We hope that video was useful if you're thinking about getting one of the inter-island ferries up to once. Please subscribe if you haven't already to follow our adventures and we'll see you next time. Bye!